as always joining us. Oh, God. Oh, is it Ned Flanders? Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Springfield must be missing your mate. <laughs> yeah, well, you look like a bum face. Oh, <laughs> <great start. laughs> Ogly dogly, carry on with the show. Uh, now, this week, of course, is very exciting. We're going to announce the winner of Cool Town Bro tonight yeah. on the show. Yeah, next week, one lucky town. How are you doing that? Will have us there for the whole week we next will... week. Yeah, we're there, th we're there. Yeah. Oh, really, Ben? Yes, we are. Are we? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> go party! This, yeah, this, this is happening and go Nelson, fins up. Let's party, see it. Party, Let's see it. Bring on, on Nelson. Nelson. Bastard and you can do this, Master. Come on, Auckland. No, no one Come wants on. Auckland to Let's win. Let's make Auckland great again, New Zealand. <laughs> so we don't have to move the show from this weird warehouse we're seeing right now. Uh, but tonight we are going to announce the winner and uh, we're going to do it in a special way. We're going to cross to Angela Dravid, who's somewhere in New Zealand. Damn. We don't know where she is. No. Come on in, Ange. Just give it up for Ange. <laughs> in a mystery location. Do you have any idea where you are, Ange? No. <laughs> okay. It looks like Queen Street to me. Auckland's got this in the no, bag, guys. <laughs> Finally a win for Auckland. Find out why we have blindfolded Ange and if we're going to be taken to the Human Resources Department <laughs> later in the show. Uh, now, this week in the Everyman Sport of the America's Cup, uh, Team New Zealand had a wee bit of a capsize. <laughs> oh, yeah? Not again, eh? <laughs> Again, <laughs> we are the Malaysian Airlines of sailing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. You know, you've probably seen that footage hundreds of times this week, but what you haven't seen is very exclusive audio we've managed to obtain from mm. the onboard microphones. Have a look. We are Oh, okay. I'm going to let you finish, Team New Zealand, but the Titanic had the greatest sinking of they all do. time, yeah. baby. All time. I've said it before, I'll say it again. We're going to get the Briscoes lady out there. No one knows more about a sail than that lady. <laughs> That's for sure. Don't laugh at that. Oh, it's just right. That's a joke of the day nominee. <laughs> yeah, it's the nominee. Hey, uh, but with the America's Cup, it's not on free to air at the moment, no. so we decided, do people really care? So we sent Guy Williams out to the street to find out. America's Cup season is heating up, and the whole country has cup fever. But do they give a shit? It's time to play America's Cup. Do you give a shit? <laughs> Sir, the America's Cup, do you give a shit? No, not really. That's all for America's Cup, do you give a shit? I'll see you next week. for two days filming that. Yeah. <laughs> two days. And boy, did it show through in the quality of that piece. Wow. <laughs> Next week on the show, we'll be asking the big questions, should Guy have a job? <laughs> <laughs> now, from the America's Cup to America's Got Talent, where clearly everybody in the United States has entered this competition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because this week, the leading contender was a chicken. No way. standing for that. Uh, I think that's the moment we officially realise that talent shows have run out of talent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that chicken was more talented than me. This is further evidence of why we need to get ch keep chickens in cages. <laughs> they are too smart for us. <laughs> too smart. It, uh, it is, it's sad to think that that chicken is now making more money than all of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got, right. got into a bidding war between KFC and Simon Cowell with a lot of money. <laughs> uh, we have a very special surprise for you at home and you here tonight because yeah. in the studio we have the keyboard playing chicken! Chris! No! Tommy, get the chicken ready. No, no! We wanted the chicken! 
alive, mate, to play the piano for the people. You didn't tell me yet! We <laughs> did! No, it's fine, it can still, it's, it's still fine. <laughs> oh, that is great. Oh, hey, this is no, it's a no, yes from it's me. It's a yes from me. The chicken, the piano, the keyboard playing chicken, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, that was great. <laughs> You're off to boot camp or a cage of, or a cage of Guy Williams has his way. <laughs> Uh, now this week, uh, Laura, of course, uh, the Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman movies out in cinemas. Yeah, and we tasked yeah we tasked Laura with um, with doing something with the Wonder Woman movie because we're men and we don't understand women, Laura. Yes, I did. <laughs> and even in a, in, a, in my own Wonder Woman uh, movie, uh, a man still managed to make his way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> tell us the location of your friends, Yankee. I'll never tell. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to play with knives? Who are you? I'm Wonder Woman. And I'm Wonder Man. Wait, what? I'm a superhero. I put the bins out without even being asked. Outstanding job, Wonder Man. You too, Wonder Girl. Woman. It's Wonder Woman. Well, thanks to your courage and bravery, we've managed to break through on the Western Front. Don't thank me. Thank the 10,000 souls that lost their lives today. Oh, and uh, Wonder Man did all of the dishes, even though some of them weren't his. <laughs> My hands are all wrinkly, but you know, it's worth it. <laughs> Of a guy. Oh, you have got to be shitting me. and courage. Hey, I did everyone's laundry. Hey! We're doing everybody's laundry. <laughs> Any last words, my friends? Go to hell. Oh, actually, I forgot me and my wife's anniversary last week. You can send us some flowers or something, could you, mate? Aww. That is so thoughtful. What? The it's not thoughtful. He forgot their anniversary. Yeah, but then he remembered. Oh, let him go. He has done enough. What? That is literally the least he could have done. Oh, someone's jealous. <laughs> yeah. All right, see ya. I'll be the same. Oh, get Funny, I mean, and that also that also makes Laura officially the first female superhero to come from Palmerston North. <laughs> yeah. Oh no 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 no! no. Well you're, you're forgetting about Chantal from uh, Matthew University, who managed to scull a whole goon sack of wine in 13 seconds. <laughs> She's the true hero. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she yeah. also holds the record for the most stomach pumps in a month. <laughs> yeah, Chantal, well done. What a hero! Yeah, yeah. How flash was that sketch though? Yeah. Special effects Amazing. and stuff. That's reverse sexism towards me, because when you see the guy William shot, it's a bunch of towels hanging up. Oh, mate. <laughs> Put yourself know, harder, but... mate. <laughs> I don't know. I saw you. I just saw your America's Cup segment. Yeah. That, thing... that was fire. That was dripping. <laughs> dripping with money, buddy. Uh, and with more from the week, please welcome a guy with the most uh, questionable internet search history in town. It's James Rocket in the week. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everybody. James here. I hope you brought your ointment because we're about to get topical. Here's the week in five. <laughs> Number five. This kid forgot to bring his recorder to school, but his teacher made him perform it anyway. Yo, my favorite part of that clip was that kid's America t-shirt, which he was definitely wearing in case immigration was watching. Number four. Jerry Seinfeld met singer Kesha for the first time and had this super, super awkward encounter. Most of the time. Kesha, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> what the hell do you expect, Kesha? This is what happens when you brush my teeth with a bottle of jack. You dummy. Number three, Sesame Street parody the definitely not for kids prison drama, Orange is the New Black. Orange is the new snack. Yeah! <laughs> 
This week's Sesame Street is brought to you by the letter S for Shiv and the number 50 for the disproportionate percentage of brown puppets in prison. Number two. This mum from the UK scared drivers into slowing down by using a hairdryer as a speed gun. When you've got cars and bikes going meow, 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 all up and down the road, it had to stop. And all it is is a hairdryer. It's only fitting that she regulated speed on that road. I mean, look at her. She's clearly an expert on speed. Meow, meow. Special mentions go to Demo from Shortland Street for lactating. Demo, are you? A woman? Lactating. I'm a squirter. This legend on this water slide. Raindrops. Drop top, drop top, smoking or cooking the hot box. And Will I Am for forgetting he was in Manchester. What's up, London? More like Will, I don't know where the hell I am. And now the number one story of the week. This video has gone viral, which captures the moment a snake regurgitated another live snake. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's regurgitating it though, so he can escape. Oh, whoa, this is crazy. That little snake's alive. Well, I guess it's true what they say. You really are what you eat. And that was The Week in Five. I've been James Rocket, and immigration, if you're watching, All Blacks, Buzzy Bees, Kapahaka, Kiwi Fruits. <laughs>52 jobs on 52 television shows. That's where you guys have been mercilessly mocking me. And sportscaster Andrew Mulligan made up some new words. How do you stop a juggernaut? Who? Yeah, we're one of those shows too. I'm. Oh, we're in the Sorry. way of the drive through. Okay. <laughs> Put that through. Now just start going off at your colleagues for no reason. Go get statements, cheese pie, please! <laughs> Tussle on the floor. Assault! Can I get a pie? <laughs> Holy moly, Erica! <laughs> You're not making me look good! <laughs> I'll just go to check if it's too hot. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> See if we can start talking to her about the Warriors. You know what I lie about you? Is you're a massive league fan. <laughs> you got a team? We should try this. This combo is amazing. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I wanted to try it. It was the meal I ordered. What we're going to do now, Moles, is use your commentary skills to uh, commentate this next order. OK, sweet. And he's coming in over there, walking with his feet. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah, Jono. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Thanks, man. <laughs> Hot old day at Balmoral McDonald's. Erica packaging up another Happy Meal. <laughs> Here comes a little man in a cat hat. Hello, little fella. Come up to the front line. Get amongst it. Roll your sleeves up. What's your name? Stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> I'm watching you. He was more ruthless than a radio sport caller. I am watching you. OK, Mouse, a couple of weeks ago, we had one of the greatest moments in New Zealand broadcasting. How do you stop a juggernaut? Juggernaut. Juggernaut. We've got a very special burger that we'd like you to sell to this next customer, OK? Have I got the burger for you? Can I present to you the juggernaut burger? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> not one, not two, but 18 patties. How do you stop it? How do you stop a juggernaut burger? <laughs> Has anyone ever eaten it? I've had four today. No. He's gonna go. Eat the burger. Eat the chicken oil. <laughs> I have four wolves. <laughs> okay, Miles, offer them a free meal if you can give them a Ronald McDonald makeover. I tell you what, I'll give it to you for free if you dress up like Ronald McDonald. What? Put your nose on, come here. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Oh, he's doing it. Put your head down. Yes. <laughs> there we go. And lipstick. And just a little bit of lippy. Not too much. Not too much. On your lips. Yeah. There we go. You look awesome. <laughs> Yeah, Ronald. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, nice. Put your nose back on. Put your nose on, mate. Stay in character. You always stay in character if you're a clown, like Jono and Ben. <laughs> oh. Try and try and give this lady a complimentary uh, Happy Meal there, Mouse. Actually, don't worry. It's on me. It's all you. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd make someone else's day a lot better than it has been. <laughs> Why do you look at us? That. Just change this from a happy meal to an angry meal, Mouse. This is your happy meal, right? Okay. But it's been a bad day. I'm starting just to get a little angry with certain people in my life. <laughs> and I think 
has turned into an angry meal. I'm out. He's out. He's out. I'm not clocking out, Erica. Clock out for me. Well done. Yeah. Oh, nice work, Miles. You know, when we, we started doing Next Actor, it was all just actors. Now it's just Next. Anyone will help us annoy people in public. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll be due for one soon, wouldn't you, mate? Yeah. Offensive. I've done about 12 of them, as no one remembered them. I always feel like when I do Next Actor, I'm like a last minute call up, because I'm, I'm always like, guy, I want to do Next Actor. I'm like, oh, great, I'm so excited. And I'm like, when is it? And they're like, um, in 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a last minute true. call up. <laughs> right. uh, uh, Laura, now we're about to go to the break, and uh, you've got a big idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, the big idea is the band and I forgot to write songs this week. Yeah, OK, which is, <laughs> which is baffling because it's on your to-do list every week. So <laughs> what you're about to tune into in three minutes' time after the commercial break is a potential catastrophe. What is yeah. your idea? Well, um, I thought that everyone at home could uh, comment on the Facebook page right now, tweet them in, any song requests you have for uh, some lovely little parody songs, and we're going to learn them over the ad break. So live, so the band is going to learn a parody song in, <laughs> in, in during the space of an ad break. Yeah. Uh, give an example. Let's go with an example so we can show the audience what we need. Um, what's about, like, DJ Khaled, The One, is quite big right now. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Master Tun. Make something up for Master <laughs> Tun. I'm from Master Jeez, that's a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm just on the spot here, mate. I'm trying. Oh, we got it. Can you do it? Yep, coming. Woo! Here we go. All right. Hey, you good. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, it's in the wired up a hometown of that guy. Yeah. yeah. Master Tun, yeah. Master Tun, yeah. And the buddy Matakas make you wanna bomb. Yeah. Oh. Wanna bomb in Master Jeez. Tun, yeah. All right, that's how it works. Right. Okay. That was, that was, that was great. Get to our Facebook page or Twitter and uh, nominate your parody song. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys after the break. See you soon. <laughs> Stanley Cam, we travel in time to the city of the future with Cool Town Brown in Hamilton. And Guy Williams puts J.J. Harvey on the edge in the Guy Williams Show. Don't go away. Parody's being made up in three minutes this <laughs> evening. Uh, welcome back to the show. Now, of course, we're announcing the winner of Cool Town Bro tonight. Uh, but first, we had to go and check out some of the finalists, like Hamilton this week. So it's definitely not going to be Hamilton then. Well, well, it doesn't mean it's not not going to be Hamilton. It could still be Hamilton. It'd be awkward if you played this out uh, and then Hamilton won. Oh, shut He's up. right. Hamilton, let's be honest, Hamilton's probably not <laughs> okay, going to win now. Right. Well, there's <laughs> us and Hamilton. Have a look. She's cool. Hamilton, the city of the future, home to this statue, this Chinese massage parlor, and this lavatory, which empties into this river. But is Hamilton more than just a Jono and Ben punchline? Armed with their Hellenstein brothers' changing room, the boys have come to find out if Hamilton is in fact a cool town bro. I don't know if I'd walk inside. Even though it says step inside. It looks like a weird peep show or something. <laughs> it does. Oh, there's someone, someone. Someone's coming. Are they coming in? Yes. Oh, OK, go. Hey, mate. How's oh, it going, buddy? Oh, how's it going? Hey, how are you $250, all yours from Helen Stein Brothers. You just got to tell us what makes Hamilton a cool town, bro. Where well, I was born. It's where this guy was born. <laughs> Let's get the party started, man. you walk inside there? Um, With Maisie. Yeah. <laughs> it's Gina Sam walking went to high school in Hamilton. Do <laughs> 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 yeah, he did. Oh, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. great. He also sang a song about a little black box. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, guys, got a bit. He's going to say, go. Hey, Mike. Come on, get Come back in. Get back in the box. Come back in here. What, you, what did you take out of here, mate? <laughs> what did you take out of here? Yeah. Out of here? There's something in here? No. 
There's something here. There's something here, stand here, bud. There's something here. Something here. No. If you tell us that you took it, you get to keep it. No, I don't know what's there. Oh, okay. okay. Why, why are you out. playing so? <laughs> was there something on the wall? Some yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was just coming in the score. And there was nothing about Trump? Nothing. Oh, okay. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, okay, we're gonna put a voucher up. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a party! Let's have a party! <laughs> Fans. Uh, it's really nice. What do you think about Jono accusing you of stealing a voucher that wasn't actually put yeah. in there by us? I was thinking what it was time, man. It's pretty good, mate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was not casting any stereotypes. Yeah. I was just saying for the record, it was human error. It was very good, mate. It was very good. Well done, thank you. Jono's racism is getting in the way of our cool time bro promotion. <laughs> Don't believe the haters, Hamilton. You're definitely a cool town bro. Of all the people on the show that I expect to be a little bit racist, I would never suspect the bald, pasty white guy. <laughs> OK, it's time to check in uh, with Ange, who we have sent to a mystery location for Cool Town, bro. Uh, we've blindfolded her this morning, we put earmuffs on her, and here is how her day has been so far. It's 8.30am and I'm on my way to the airport to head down to the winner of Cool Town, bro. I don't know where it is and I'm not allowed to know. So I'll be wearing goggles, this piece of fabric, and earmuffs. Wish me luck! Destination of I'm here in room 209 in this unknown town. Um, still don't know where it is. I've got six and a half hours to kill. Um, and I'll still be wearing these goggles and earmuffs. Okay, John and Ben, see you on live TV. <laughs> headphones and goggles for like 10 hours. That uh, was like a hotel you'd rent out by the hour. <laughs> she said it was, we have. Uh, she's in Mystery Town. Uh, come on in, Edge. How are you? Uh, where are you? Are you, are you OK? I am not OK. It is very dark and uh, I'm feeling a little claustrophobic. <laughs> I still don't know where I am. So has anyone come up I to you? It, has anyone it smells like the North Island. <laughs> smells like the North Island. <laughs> All right. And has anyone come up to you? They touched you or done, done anything? Well, what? What sort of question was that? <laughs> if any sex pests touch you, <laughs> <laughs> just don't answer on. that. Uh, Ange, are you ready to take off the, uh, the blindfold and the earmuffs? Yes, well, I'm excited. Well, it's you can't do it now. You've got to wait to the end of the show, all right? Oh, what? what? Oh, we're going to keep no, us going. I've been waiting for, like, since 7.30 this morning. <laughs> What's another half an hour or so, I don't want to be alone with Edge. my thoughts. Oh, all right, we'll see you soon, Edge. Keep, keep in, hanging in there. No. Edge on top, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like she's going to be in an ISIS video. <laughs> she does. <laughs> it's like, geez, I hope she's on the West Coast, because that is very Fifty Shades of Grey Mouth. <laughs> Come on, that's good. <laughs> All right, guy, help us out. What are you doing? Well, you guys were like kinkily trying to like dress up your workmates. <laughs> I was doing hard hitting interviewing. That's right. It's the Guy Williams show featuring none other than JJ Harvey. <laughs> Start a clap. Let me tell you something cool you got to know. It's time to tune in to the Guy Williams show. <laughs> no reaction to that? I don't even know why I bother sometimes. Please welcome my guest for today. She's written a book and now she's here. The wonderful, the amazing JJ Harvey! Lovely to see you guys. So nice to see you, JJ. Welcome to the show. Paul's not here. Mm, far out. You don't know who Paul is, do you? <laughs> so you've written two books. <laughs> yeah. How many have you read? <laughs> I reckon zero. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Yeah. I've written about four or five books and no one's taken any of them. What are they about? They're um, Harry Potter erotic fan fiction. <laughs> Guy Williams and the Philosopher's Bone, a novel by Guy Williams. Welcome to a world of magic and fantasy. We've got no Paul. Yeah. And this is a problem, we're going to have a sidekick. So the good news today is we're going to have a special prize. Who wants in the audience to be the new Paul? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tariq. <laughs> Tariq, do you like Sprite? I'm a Coke man myself. No, do you like Sprite? <laughs> Sprite, the real thirst quencher. That's the best ad we've had by a mile. Let's have a paper dart competition. Okay. We don't have any paper. <laughs> I'll get you. You, you can't book. use JJ's book. <laughs> and the marks are set. Go. Boom! I touched it. I won first. No, I touched. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Uh, I had uh, piano lessons. So. I didn't know you taught piano. No, I'm, I'm taking lessons, learning. <sighs> and then there was, I got stuck in traffic. Where were you stuck in traffic? It was foot traffic. <laughs> Tariq, can you f now, please? You've shown up late, you've forgotten your Guy Williams glasses. I've only got these glasses. <laughs> They're a little bit offensive, you might have to, like, blur them out. Have you got any questions for JJ Harvey? No. What do you mean, no? Tariq had tons of questions and he came from the audience. Oh, okay, enough about Tariq. We get it, he's great. Tariq was great. Tariq is amazing. Yeah, look, I like him as well. He's a great guy, but this is my job <laughs> and I don't have any questions today. Tariq came with, he had questions, he had jokes. Oh, we had Tariq on. Oh, we laughed. We yeah. laughed for oh. hours. I got heaps of jokes, just no questions. What jokes do you have? Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Uh, my favourite board game is Guess. My favourite board game is Guess Who? Really? <laughs> Pretty lame board game. You've been here for like an hour and a half, having to listen to this. Can I say I'm sorry? Is that for real or is that part of the show? That's part of this for real and part of the show. <laughs> okay. This is a real show. I don't know what part of this concept you don't understand. It's a real show. Slap me on the face. Slap me. Slap me. <laughs> Slap me. Slap me on the face. Harder. Harder. <laughs> This is real! You want your reality TV? This is your goddamn reality TV! Ah, the Guy Williams Show Forever! Yeah. Show of the year! Show of the year! Guy Williams Show Forever! What are you doing? What are you doing? That was the best thing ever! That was okay. That wasn't even the worst thing JJ has done. The worst thing she's done is marry Dom, alright? <laughs> more Dom Harveys rather than go on the Guy Williams show again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Great show, great episode. Yeah, the thing I love about the Guy Williams show is it takes the heat off us for the critics just for a few minutes. <laughs> for a Although few it minutes. is part of the show. <laughs> uh, we're going to head to an ad break. Remember to hit our, our Facebook page if you have a song parody idea for Laura and the band. They may play it in three minutes' time. We'll see you soon. Oh! London. Okay, yeah, yeah. Emily London we go. I hope you enjoyed that as songs. much as we did. Uh, welcome back to the <laughs> what show. What I think we've learned tonight is that we should write more parody songs in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Hey, uh, this week, of course, uh, Baywatch uh, hit cinemas. It's a big movie, and we thought New Zealand should have a version. Yeah, we thought we'd take along our favourite surf life-saving head coach, Zach Franich from The Bachelor, for the ride.
bit of brown up. Oh! 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 The sand's hot, guys! The sand's hot! Oh! Bunch of worms. This looks like a job for the head coach of a surf life saving club. Wow! He knows he's the head coach of the surf life saving club. Oh, he's a national treasure, mate. I like how he's orange so you can see him in the surf. Checking his single. Oh my god, where's that go? He's gone under, he's not coming out. Oh my god, Zach! Someone get help! We are the help. Proper help! Someone call PR Rescue, please! Someone call PR Rescue! Oh God, does anyone remember how to do CPR? Excuse me, lady, can you help us give this man mouth to mouth? Nah. <laughs> Always a real blast filming when you cast The Bachelor and the woman he fired and broke up with live on television <laughs> together. I don't know if he fired but he dumped her, but yeah, anyway. Oh, we didn't even book Lily. We just knew that he had 23 ex-girlfriends and we were bound to bump into one of them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lifeline's a fantastic organisation that is uh, set up as a 24-hour phone counselling service. And this week, today, actually, they've started their big fundraising drive. So we went along and we decided to raise some awareness for Lifeline. Thanks, mate. As official Lifeline ambassadors, we know how hard it can be for Lifeline to raise those much-needed funds. Yes, for just a cup of coffee, you can keep Lifeline going 24 hours a day. Mate! <laughs> <laughs> Still that poor man's coffee. <laughs> to play charity cases, simply convince punters to donate. The twist is, you don't know which charity you're collecting for until you turn the page. Let's find out what his first charity's gonna be. What's under here, Ben? What is under there? Like if I went this elderly lady, would she appreciate it? Probably not. Hey, we're collecting for charity today. Yep, yep. Um, it's charity. Charity is, uh, charity is. Get your dicks out. <laughs> the only dick out for a run bay right now is Jono. I love okay, it. Okay, so we don't want your money. Okay. You put your wallet away and you get your penis out for this beautiful girl. <laughs> really? You and me will stand here in unison in this public mall. All right. No, don't, okay. don't, we're don't, gonna don't, go, don't, we're gonna... don't, no, 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 not in the mall, not in the mall. What's yeah, that? Get the pants no. on, get the pants on. Start it today. It's the <laughs> money for Max King to buy a shirt charity. I've never seen him with one, so we're just figuring that he's never been able to afford one. Raising awareness for charity. This will be a tough sell. A brand new charity today. It's the alcohol and skills charity. 100% of kids. Uh, and schools don't have access to alcohol. It's good, it's good, it's good news. We're collecting for charity today. Oh. Okay. And the charity is... Nigel's... <laughs> <laughs> Nigel's weed fund. I can actually turn this into a bucky bomb too for Nigel. <laughs> Bit of a half-baked idea. <laughs> so we'll tell you about a brand new charity today. This is the best of them all. It's the Feed the Starving Man Built Like a Child charity. Okay. Obviously, um, I haven't eaten since breakfast. Oh, I got a banana. Oh, I'm, okay, I'm getting food. Yeah, thanks for charity. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, uh, just working for a charity today. Yeah. Uh, raising some money for... Oh, <laughs> their extensions were born in. Actually, if you could dig deep too, I'm raising more money for a colleague of mine who needs new material. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, give me money. I'm like, this is clearly not a real charity. Do not give me money. <laughs> Your prayers need to make the money. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, it turns out collecting for charity is quite hard, yeah. especially when they're all shitty made-up jokes. Uh, but one charity that isn't is Lifeline, and right now they need your help. Yes, remember, no one thinks any less of you for calling Lifeline, but people will think a lot of you for donating, so you can help them out right now. That was a really lovely, good on you. Hey, one, Lifeline is a wonderful charity and a wonderful service. Another round of applause for Lifeline is wonderful. <laughs> and it's so good to see Ben doing some charity that's not court appointed. So it, is. Really good <laughs> it is. <laughs> Thanks for that, guy. Although he did have to sign off the timesheet with your parole officer at the end of that, didn't we? <laughs> I don't know if you're out of the woods just yet from there, right, mate. All right, we'll see you guys after the break. <laughs> Thanks for that.
everyone that requested the Funga Mata song again. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, welcome back to the show on a week that British Prime Minister Theresa May, uh, her do dodgy past caught up with her. What's the naughtiest thing you ever did? Oh, goodness me. Um, I, well, I suppose the... Uh, gosh, I have to confess, when me and my friends sort of used to run through the fields of wheat, um, the farmers weren't too pleased about that. <laughs> better if that clip would have been if she was like, whoa, I must confess, I was into a bit of human trafficking. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know if that's what she's admitting, she must have done some bad stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I reckon she stabbed a dude. Uh, hey, well, sure, <laughs> running, running through a field full of wheat. Uh, it doesn't sound that bad, but wait till you find out she's gluten-free. <laughs> oh! Congratulations, joke of the night. You must be feeling, was it a joke of two halves? It definitely was, and I don't know why you're here. This is weird. Well, it's cool, man. This is great. So, the question on everybody's lips is, how do you stop a juggernaut of a joke like that? I can't really hear you. you speak, just, how do you stop a you're, juggernaut? You're killing it. It's a massacre. Oh, huh? no, no, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, sticking with sports, uh, last night huge upset uh, in the rugby. The Blues beat the Lions. Go the Blues! Go the Blues! And uh, in an exclusive interview, uh, that is the first time anyone has ever cheered for the Blues. <laughs> in an exclusive interview, Laura, uh, you, you got a one-on-one -on -one with the Lions captain. Out. Yep. Ow. That's what you were meant to do. Uh huh. Okay. Ow. Shall we look at that now? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Roll, roll the clip. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Sports Thoughts. Today I have an exclusive interview with the captain of the Lions at Auckland Zoo. <laughs> the Lion, do you feel like you have an unfair advantage against the All Blacks considering that they are humans and you are in fact a lion? <laughs> so, uh, under your fur, what do your abs look like? Sorry, did, did no one think that, that this was the wrong place? Did, did anyone pick up on that? No one? You're, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not angry, I'm disappointed. Okay? Well, hey, look, next week I've got an interview with the Hurricanes, so can we just be, like, really clear about what that is? <laughs> And a fun fact too, those Lions have a better track record with women than the real rugby players. <laughs> <laughs> too far. Oh, too far. Well, apart nah, from the fact that that line was... Social commentary. Yeah. yeah. And that line was eating a female lion, but apart from that, you get over that. <laughs> All right, to our um, international news desk now. Um, last week, me and my dad went to the Gold Coast, and we've still got some more footage left over from that. <laughs> so it's Gold Coast Part 2! Here we go! <laughs> Last week on Guy and Gaz's Gold Coast Adventure, we went surfing. He's still in the water! It's time to go! Guy jammed with a band. It's an amazing guy. And Gary met a duck. Hello, Mr. Duck. <laughs> quack, quack. We sure did get amongst it, Guy, but this week we were going to get amongst even more of it. Shut up, Dad. It looks kind of racist. You, it looks like you're doing a white face. I'm not doing white face. This is good. Hey guys, it's Guy and Gary. We're here on the Gold Coast for day two of our amazing adventures. And it's going to be amazing. Let's get amongst it, Guy. You're not going to come up with a new catchphrase for today? No, no, it's appropriate. Because first up, we were getting amongst. Please shoot me now. Stand up paddleboard yoga with local guru Sani. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Wow! Look at Gary, he is not nailing it whatsoever. I'm concentrating on connecting with other people's souls. Gary, soul. you are doing a shocking job. I won't tell you what type of soul you are because it would be rude. But it starts with an R. It starts with an A, Gary. The worst thing about travelling with your dad is that you're travelling with your dad. I was going to tell you about my two sons. Um, neither of them are well endowed. Yeah, I'm right here, for God's sake. Okay. And yeah. what sports do you guys play? Do you play table tennis? <laughs> 
Guys, that was out of context. I was saying that because I'm a table tennis administrator. And a racist. I'm not a racist. Sure, I bet some of your best friends are table tennis players. They are. <laughs> Next up, it was off to Pacific Fair for a bit of retail therapy, which is much cheaper and less effective than actual therapy. I'm Guy Williams. You've probably Guy. heard of me already. Put it here, put it here. Welcome to the Gold Coast. I'm Susie, one of the stylists at Pacific Fair. You go to the races? I had a share in a horse that ran third in the Melbourne Cup. You probably shouldn't have brought this up. Gary was involved in that horse doping scandal. Keep it serious, Guy. We're here talking about style. This is serious. Gary almost went to jail. <laughs> he was doping horses and running an illegal gambling ring. <laughs> oh, Guy. Shopping! <laughs> Let's get it, mate. This is what I'm talking about. All right. Shit. We'll just store these somewhere here. Yeah, let's get, let's get out of here. Uh oh. After that, it was time to fly. We went indoor skydiving. It's called a pun, guy. Educate yourself about comedy. so excited to fly. I was a natural. We've had a great couple of days here and I've been checking it all out on my GoPro. So have a look at the video. Let's get amongst it. <laughs> And that ends part two in the five-part series of the world's longest holiday slideshow. <laughs> yeah. Australia was the wrong country to send you to, because like a boomerang, you bloody came back. Yeah. <laughs> no, we fit in right there. Me and Gary loved it over there on the Gold Coast, watching some AFL footy and hassling boat people. It was great. <laughs> we'll see you guys after break. See you soon. Hey! Well, are, you, are you thanking someone who just wrote the song Yummy Yummy Yum Yum? Oh no, I wrote Yummy Yum Yum Yum. <laughs> some great lyrics. Just gave the song suggestion. Uh, again, more three minute parodies. That's what I vote for. <laughs> it's very exciting right now. We're about to find the winner of our Cool Town Bro. Come on, Nelson, let's Next do it. Fins up, up Nelson, brothers. Come on, Auckland. You can do <laughs> it, Auckland. I keep talking about Auckland. Okay, we're going to cross live now to Ange. We actually don't know where this location <laughs> is because we have to travel there on a tractor first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Ange, can you hear us blindfolded and air? Muffed. Come on in. Yes, All these I people can. There. Lots Hi. Of people there. They must have worked it out. And you, yeah. when you're ready, you can take off your blindfold and earmuffs. Okay. And the winner of Cool Town Bro is. Do you know where you are? Who <laughs> 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 told you? Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> 300 people here. Uh, Sorry, I, I got a bit cocky. I thought Auckland was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> I hired the Sky Tower costume. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. So great. Oh. I'm so happy to see. Okay. Bye, Sky Tower. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, mate. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Can we start the celebrations again? Oh, oh, God. God. We'll see you Monday morning, 7 o'clock, Palestine Brothers can get free tickets. Free tickets. Palestine Brothers, Monday morning, Palms for 7 o'clock. We'll see you then, Palmy. Thanks for watching the show.
I'm not doing white face. This is good. Hey guys, it's Guy and Gary. We're here on the Gold Coast for day two of our amazing adventures. And it's going to be amazing. Let's get amongst it, Guy. Are you not going to come up with a new catchphrase for today? No, no, it's appropriate. Because first up, we were getting amongst Please shoot me now. Stand up paddleboard yoga with local guru Sani. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Wow! Look at Gary, he is not nailing it whatsoever. I'm concentrating on connecting with other people's souls. Gary, soul. you are doing a shocking job. I won't tell you what type of soul you are because it would be rude. But it starts with an R. It starts with an A, Gary. The worst thing about travelling with your dad is that you're travelling with your dad. I was going to tell you about my two sons. Um, neither of them are well endowed. Damn right here, for God's sake. Okay. Yeah. And what sports do you guys play? Do you play table tennis? <laughs> Hey guys, that was out of context. I was saying that because I'm a table tennis administrator. And a racist. I'm not a racist. Sure, I bet some of your best friends are table tennis players. They are! <laughs> Next up, it was off to Pacific Fair for a bit of retail therapy, which is much cheaper and less effective than actual therapy. I'm Guy Williams, you've probably Guy. heard of me already. <laughs> put it here, put it here. Welcome to the Gold Coast. I'm Susie, one of the stylists at Pacific Fair. You go to the races? I had a share in a horse that ran third in the Melbourne Cup. You probably shouldn't have brought this up. Gary was involved in that horse doping scandal. Keep it serious, Guy. We're here talking about style. This is serious. Gary almost went to jail. <laughs> he was doping horses and running an illegal gambling ring. <laughs> oh, Guy. Shopping! <laughs> Oh, let's get it, this is what I'm talking about. All right. Shit. There's somewhere here. Yeah, let's get, let's get out of here. Uh oh. After that, it was time to fly. We went indoor skydiving. It's called a pun, guy. Educate yourself about comedy. so excited to fly. I was a natural. We've had a great couple of days here and I've been checking it all out on my GoPro. So have a look at the video. Let's get amongst it. <laughs> And that ends. Even though it says step inside, it looks like a weird peep show or something. <laughs> it does. Oh, there's someone. Someone. Someone's coming. Are they coming in? Yes. Oh, okay. Go. Hey, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, how you going, buddy? Oh, how's it going? Hey. How you doing? Hey. How's it going? Two hundred fifty dollars. All yours from Hallenstein Brothers. You just got to tell us what makes Hamilton a cool town, bro. Where I was born. It's where this guy was born. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some party started, baby. you walk inside there? Um, With Maisie. Yeah. <laughs> Stina Sam Walker went to high school in Hamilton. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, great. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. He also sang a song about Little Black Box. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, guys, got a bed. He's going to say, okay, go. What did you take out of here, mate? Yeah. What did you take out of here? Yeah. Out of here, there was something in here. No. There was something here. <laughs> stand here, stand here, bud. <laughs> no, there was, there was something here. No. If you no. tell us that you took it, you get to keep it. No, I didn't watch that. Okay. okay. What, you, why are you right playing so? <laughs> was there something on the wall? Yeah. Yeah. I just swung in and scored. And there was nothing about Trump. Nothing. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, okay. We didn't put a voucher up. That's why. <laughs> Let's have a party! Let's have a party! What do you want to say to your fans? What do you want to say to your fans? Uh, 
that's really nice. What do you think about Jono accusing you of stealing a voucher that wasn't actually put yeah. in there by us? I was thinking about it at the time, man. That's pretty good. I was not casting these stereotypes. I was supposed to say for the record, it was human era. It was very good, man. It was very good. Well done, thank you. Jono's racism is getting in the way of our cool town bro promotion. <laughs> Don't believe the haters, Hamilton. You're definitely a cool town bro. Of all the people on the show that I expect to be a little bit racist, I would never suspect the bald, pasty white guy. <laughs> OK, it's time to check in uh, with Ange, who we have sent to a mystery location for Cool Town, bro. Uh, we've blindfolded her this morning, we put earmuffs on her, and here is how her day has been so far. It's 8.30am and I'm on my way to the airport to head down to the winner of Cool Town, bro. I don't know where it is and I'm not allowed to know. So I'll be wearing goggles, this piece of fabric, and earmuffs. Wish me luck! Destination unknown You know what I lie about you? Is you're a massive league fan. <laughs> you got a team? We should try this. This combo is amazing. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I wanted to try it. It was the meal I ordered. What we're going to do now, Moles, is use your commentary skills to uh, commentate this next order. OK, sweet. And he's coming in over there, walking with his feet. Hey, uh, yeah, Jono. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Thanks, man. <laughs> Hot old day at Balmoral McDonald's. Erica packaging up another Happy Meal. <laughs> Here comes a little man in a cat hat. Hello, little fella. Come up to the front line. Get amongst it. Roll your sleeves up. What's your name? Stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> talking. I'm watching you. He was more ruthless than a radio sport caller. I am watching you. OK, Mel's a couple of weeks ago, we had one of the greatest moments in New Zealand broadcasting. How do you stop a juggernaut? Juggernaut. Juggernaut. We've got a very special burger that we'd like you to sell to this next customer, OK? Have I got the burger for you? Can I present to you the juggernaut burger? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> not one, not two, but 18 patties. How do you stop it? How do you stop a juggernaut burger? <laughs> Has anyone ever eaten it? I've had four today. No. Who's gonna go? Eat the burger. <laughs> Eat the juggernaut. <laughs> That is four good. <laughs> okay, Miles, offer them a free meal if you can give them a Ronald McDonald makeover. I tell you what, I'll give it to you for free if you dress up like Ronald McDonald. What? Put your nose on, come here. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Oh, is that it? Put your head down. Yes. <laughs> there we go. And lipstick. And just a little bit of lippy. Not too much. Not too much. On your lips. Yeah. There we go. You look awesome. <laughs> Yeah, Ronald. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, nice. Put your nose back on. Put your nose on, mate. Stay in character. You always stay in character if you're a clown, like Jono and Ben. <laughs> try, try and give this lady a complimentary uh, Happy Meal there, Mouse. Actually, don't worry. It's on me. It's all you. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd make someone else's day a lot better than it has been. <laughs> Why do you look at us? That. Just change this from a happy meal to an angry meal, Mouse. This is your happy meal, right? OK. But it's been a bad day. I'm starting just to get a little angry with certain people in my life. <laughs> and I think it's turned into an angry meal. Oh. Had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out! He's out. He's out. I'm not clocking out, Erica. Clock out for me. Well done. You know, when we, we started doing Next Actor, it was all just actors. Now it's just Next. Anyone will help us annoy people in public. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll be due for one soon, wouldn't you, mate? Yeah. Offensive. I've done about 12 of them. There's no one remembered them. I always feel like when I do Next Actor, I'm like a last-minute call-up, because I'm, I'm always like, guy, I want to do Next Actor. I'm like... Um, and I'll still be wearing these goggles and earmuffs. OK, John and Ben, see you on live TV. <laughs> <laughs> Day, hasn't she? She's been wearing those headphones and goggles for like 10 hours. That was uh, like a hotel you'd rent out by the hour. <laughs> she said it was, we have. Uh, she's in Mystery Town. Uh, come on in, Edge. How are you? Uh, where are you? are you? Are you OK? I am not OK. It is very dark and uh, I'm feeling a little claustrophobic. <laughs> I still don't know where I am. So has anyone come up I to you? It, has anyone it smells like the North Island. <laughs> <laughs> smells like the North Island. All right. 
And has anyone come up to you? They touched you or done, done anything? Well, what? Well, what? Only one person has touched me, and that what was by mistake. Well, what sort of question was that? <laughs> have any sex pests touched you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that. Uh, Ange, are you ready to take off the, uh, the blindfold and the earmuffs? Yes, well, I'm excited. Well, it's you can't do great. it now. You're going to wait to the end of the show, all right? Oh, what? what? Oh, we're going to keep no, this going. I've been waiting for, like, since 7.30 this morning. <laughs> What's another half an hour or so, I don't want to be alone with Edge. my thoughts. Well, all right, we'll see you soon, Edge. Keep, keep in, hanging in there. No. Edge on top, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it looks like she's going to be in an ISIS video. <laughs> she does. <laughs> it's like, geez, I hope she's on the West Coast, because that is very Fifty Shades of Grey Mouth. <laughs> Come on, that's good. <laughs> All right, guy, help us out. What are you doing? Well, you guys were like kinkily trying to like dress up your workmates. <laughs> I was doing hard hitting interviewing. That's right. It's the Guy Williams show featuring none other than JJ Harvey. <laughs> Start a clap. Let me tell you something cool you got to know. It's time to tune in to the Guy Williams show. <laughs> no reaction to that? I don't even know why I bother sometimes. Please welcome my guest for today. She's written a book and now she's here. The wonderful, the amazing JJ Harvey! Lovely to see you guys. So nice to see you, JJ. Welcome to the show. Paul's not here. Mm, fire out. You don't know who Paul is, do you? <laughs> so you've written two books. <laughs> yeah. How many have you read? <laughs> I reckon zero. <laughs> <clears throat> I've written about four or five books and no one's taken any of them. What are they about? They're um, Harry Potter erotic fan fiction. <laughs> Guy Williams and the Philosopher's Bone, a novel by Guy Williams. Welcome to a world of magic and fantasy. We've got no Paul. Yeah. And this is a problem, we're going to have a sidekick. So the good news today is we're going to have a special prize. Who wants in the audience to be the new Paul? Yeah. Because this week the leading contender was a chicken. Standing for that. Uh, I think that's the moment we officially realise that talent shows have run out of talent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that chicken was more talented than me. This is further evidence of why we need to get ch keep chickens in cages. <laughs> they are too smart for us. <laughs> too smart. It, uh, it is. It's sad to think that that chicken is now making more money than all of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've got into a bidding war between KFC and Simon Cow with a lot of money. <laughs> uh, we have a very special surprise for you at home and you here tonight because yeah. in the studio we have the keyboard playing chicken. Yeah. Ready. No, no! Oh, we wanted the chicken alive, mate, to play the piano for the people. You didn't tell me that! <laughs> we did! No, it's fine, it's still, it's still fine. <laughs> oh, that is great. Oh, hey, no, it's no, a yes from me. It's a yes from me. The chicken, the, yeah, the keyboard playing chicken, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, that was great. <laughs> You're off to boot camp or a cage of, <laughs> or a cage of Guy Williams has his way. <laughs> Uh, now this week, uh, Laura, of course, uh, the Wonder, Wonder Woman movies out in cinemas. Yeah, and we tasked, yeah, we tasked Laura with um, with doing something with the Wonder Woman movie because we're men and we don't understand women, Laura. Yes, I did. <laughs> and even in a, in, a, in my own Wonder Woman uh, movie, uh, a man still managed to make his way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> tell us the location of your friends, Yankee. I'll never tell. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to play with knives? Who are you? I'm Wonder Woman. And I'm Wonder Man. Wait, what? I'm a superhero. I put the bins out without even being asked. Outstanding job, Wonder Man. You too, Wonder Girl. Woman. It's Wonder Woman. 
thanks to your courage and bravery, we've managed to break through on the Western Front. Don't thank me. Thank the 10,000 souls that lost their lives today. Oh, and uh, Wonder Man did all of the dishes, even though some of them weren't his. <laughs> My hands are all wrinkly, but you know, it's worth it. What's a hero? Pink patties. How do you stop it? How do you stop a chuggernaut burger? <laughs> Has anyone ever eaten it? I've had four today. No. He's giving up. Eat the burger. Eat the chuggernaut. <laughs> I have four wolves. <laughs> okay, Mel's offer them a free meal if you can give them a Ronald McDonald makeover. I tell you what, I'll give it to you for free if you dress up like Ronald McDonald. What? Put your nose on, come here. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Oh, he's doing it! Put your head down. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And lipstick. And just a little bit of lippy. Not too much. Not too much. On your lips. Yeah. There we go. You look awesome. <laughs> Yeah, Ronald. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, nice. Put your nose back on. Put your nose on, mate. Stay in character. You always stay in character if you're a clown, like Jono and Ben. <laughs> try, try and give this lady a complimentary uh, Happy Meal there, Mouse. Actually, don't worry. It's on me. It's all you. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd make someone else's day a lot better than it has been. <laughs> Why do you look at us? That. Just change this from a happy meal to an angry meal, Mouse. This is your happy meal, right? Okay. But it's been a bad day. I'm starting just to get a little angry with certain people in my life. <laughs> and I think it's turned into an angry meal. Oh. Out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. He's out. He's out. I'm not clocking out, Erica. Clock out for me. Well done. You know, when we, we started doing Next Actor, it was all just actors. Now it's just Next. Anyone will help us annoy people in public. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll be due for one soon, wouldn't you, mate? Yeah. Offensive. I've done about 12 of them. as no one remembered them. I always feel like when I do Next Actor, I'm like a last-minute call-up, because I'm, I'm, they're always like, guy, I want to do Next Actor. I'm like, oh, great, I'm so excited. And I'm like, when is it? And they're like, um, in 45 minutes. It's <laughs> <laughs> definitely a last-minute call-up. <laughs> right. uh, Laura, now we're about to go to the break, and uh, you've got a big idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, the big idea is the band and I forgot to write songs this week. Yeah, OK, which is, <laughs> which is baffling because it's on your to-do list every week. So what you're about to tune into in three minutes' time after the commercial break is a potential catastrophe. What is yeah. your idea? Well, um, I thought that everyone at home could uh, comment on the Facebook page right now, tweet them in, any song requests you have for uh, some lovely little parody songs, and we're going to learn them over the ad break. So live, so the band is going to learn a parody song <laughs> in, in, during the space of an ad break. Yeah. Uh, give an example. Let's go with an example so we can show the audience what we need. Um, what's about, like, DJ Khaled, The One, is quite big right now. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Master Ton. Make something up for Master <laughs> Tasta then. I'm from Master Tasta. Jeez, that's a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm just, just on the spot here, mate. I'm trying. Oh, we got it. Can you do it? Yep, coming. For bravery and courage. Hey, I did everyone's laundry. Hey! hey. I'm doing everybody's laundry. <laughs> Any last words, my friends? Go to hell. Oh, actually, I forgot me and my wife's anniversary last week. You can send us some flowers or something, could you, mate? Aww. Aww. That is so thoughtful. What? Th that is not thoughtful. He forgot their anniversary. Yeah, but then he remembered. Oh, let him go. He has done enough. What? That is literally the least he could have done. Oh, someone's jealous. <laughs> yeah, go right to you. I'll be the same. And that also, that also makes Laura officially the first female superhero to come from Palmerston North. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, well no, 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 well no. You're, you're forgetting about Chantal from uh, Matthew University, who managed to scull a whole goon sack of wine in 13 seconds. <laughs> She's the true hero. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she yeah. also holds the record for the most stomach pumps in a month. <laughs> yeah, Chantal, well done. What a hero. Yeah, hero. How flash was that sketch, though? Those yeah. special effects Amazing. and stuff? That's reverse sexism towards me, because when you see the guy William shot, it's just a bunch of towels hanging up. Oh, mate. <laughs> but 
Put yourself know. harder, mate. <laughs> I don't know. I saw you. I just saw your America's Cup segment. Yeah. That, was, that was fire. That was dripping, <laughs> dripping with money, buddy. Uh, and with more from the week, please welcome a guy with the most uh, questionable internet search history in town. It's James Rocket in the week. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> 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 everybody. James here. I hope you brought your ointment because we're about to get topical. Here's the week in five. <laughs> Number five. This kid forgot to bring his recorder to school, but his teacher made him perform it anyway. Yo, my favorite part of that clip was that kid's America t-shirt, which he was definitely wearing in case immigration was watching. Number four. Jerry Seinfeld met singer Kesha for the first time and had this super, super awkward encounter. Most of the time. Hey, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> What the hell do you expect, Kesha? This is what happens when you brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. You dummy. Number three, Sesame Street parody the definitely not for kids prison drama, Orange is the New Black. Orange is the new snack. Yeah! This week's Sesame Street is brought to you by the letter S for Shiv and the number 50 for the disproportionate percentage of brown puppets in prison. Number two, this mum from the UK scared drivers into slowing down by using a hairdryer as a speed gun. When you got the charity today, it's the alcohol in schools charity. 100% of kids uh, in schools don't have access to alcohol. It's good, it's good, it's good news. We're collecting for charity today. Okay, and the charity is Nigel's... <laughs> <laughs> Nigel's weed fun. I can actually turn this into a Bucky Bomb too for Nigel. <laughs> Bit of a half-baked idea. <laughs> Let me tell you about a brand new charity today. This is the best of them all. It's the Feed the Starving Man Built Like a Child charity. Okay. Obviously, um, I haven't eaten since breakfast. Oh, I got a banana. Oh, I'm, okay, I'm getting food. Yeah, thanks for charity. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, uh, just working for a charity today. Yeah. Uh, raising some money for... Oh, <laughs> their extensions were born then. Actually, if you could dig deep too, I'm raising more money for a colleague of mine who needs new material. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, give me money. I'm like, this is clearly not a real charity. Do not give me money. <laughs> You're crazy. You need the money. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, it turns out collecting for charity is quite hard, yeah. especially when they're all shitty made-up jokes. Uh, but one charity that isn't is Lifeline, and right now they need your help. Yes, remember, no one thinks any less of you for calling Lifeline, but people will think a lot of you for donating, so you can help them out right now. That was a really lovely, good on you. Hey, one, Lifeline is a wonderful charity and a wonderful service. Another round of applause for yeah. Lifeline is wonderful. <laughs> and it's so good to see Ben doing some charity that's not court appointed. So it, is. Really good <laughs> it is. <laughs> Thanks for that, guys. Although he did have to sign off the timesheet with your parole officer at the end of that, didn't we? <laughs> I don't know if you're out of the woods just yet from that, right, mate. All right, we'll see you guys after the break. <laughs> Thanks for that. Again. Very nice. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the show on a week that British Prime Minister Theresa May, uh, her uh, dodgy past caught up with her. What's the naughtiest thing you ever did? Oh, goodness me. Um, I, well, I suppose the. Uh, gosh, I have to confess, when me and my friends sort of used to run through the fields of wheat, um, the farmers weren't too pleased about that. <laughs> better if that clip would have been if she was like, whoa, I must confess, I was into a bit of human trafficking. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know cup season is heating up and the whole country has cup fever. But do they give a shit? It's time to play America's Cup. Do you give a shit? Sir, the America's Cup, do you give a shit? No, not really. That's all for America's Cup, do you give a shit? I'll see you next week. You were a 
away for two days filming that. Yeah. <laughs> two days. And boy, did it show through in the quality of that piece. Wow. <laughs> Next week on the show, we'll be asking the big question, should Guy have a job? <laughs> <laughs> now, from the America's Cup to America's Got Talent, where clearly everybody in the United States has entered this competition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because this week, the leading contender was a chicken. Standing for that. Uh, I think that's the moment we officially realise that talent shows have run out of talent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that chicken was more talented than me. This is further evidence of why we need to get ch keep chickens in cages. <laughs> they are too smart for us. <laughs> too smart. It, uh, it is. It's sad to think that that chicken is now making more money than all of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've got into a bidding war between KFC and Simon Cow with a lot of money. <laughs> uh, we have a very special surprise for you at home and you here tonight because yeah. in the studio we have the keyboard playing chicken. Yeah. Chris! No! Chicken ready? No, no! Let's we wanted the chicken alive, mate, to play the piano for the piano. You didn't tell me that! <laughs> we did! No, it's fine, it can still, it's, it's still fine! <laughs> oh, that is great! Good. Hey, no, it's no, a yes from, yes from me! It's a yes from me! The chicken, the piano! The keyboard playing chicken, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, that was great. <laughs> You're off to boot camp or a cage if, or a cage if Guy Williams has his way. <laughs> uh, now, this week, uh, Laura, of course, uh, the Wonder, Wonder Woman movie's out in cinemas. Yeah, and we tasked, yeah, we tasked Laura with, um, with doing something with the Wonder Woman movie because we're men and we don't understand women, Laura. Yes, I did. <laughs> and even in, a, in, a, in my own Wonder Woman uh, movie, uh, a man still managed to make his way to the top. <laughs> Tell us the location of your friend's Yankee. I'll never tell. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to play with knives? Sticking with sports, uh, last night, huge upset uh, in the rugby. The Blues beat the Lions. Go the Blues! Go the Blues! And uh, in an exclusive interview... Uh, that is the first time anyone has ever cheered for the Blues. <laughs> in an exclusive interview, Laura, uh, you, you got a one-on-one -on -one with the Lions captain. Ow! Yep, that's Ow. what you're meant to do? Uh-huh. OK, Ow. shall we look at that now? Ow. Ow. OK, roll, roll the clip. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Sports Thoughts. Today I have an exclusive interview with the captain of the Lions at Auckland Zoo. <laughs> the Lion. Do you feel like you have an unfair advantage against the All Blacks considering that they are humans and you are in fact a lion? <laughs> so, uh, under your fur, what do your abs look like? Sorry, did, did no one think that, that this was the wrong place? Did, did anyone pick up on that? No one? You're, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not angry, I'm disappointed. Okay? Well, hey, look, next week I've got an interview with the Hurricanes, so can we just be, like, really clear about what that is? <laughs> And a fun fact, too, those Lions have a better track record with women than the real rugby players. <laughs> <laughs> too far. Oh, too far. Well, apart no, from the fact that that line was... commentary. Yeah. yeah. And that line was eating a female lion, but apart from that, you get over that. <laughs> All right, to our um, international news desk now. Um, last week, me and my dad went to the Gold Coast, and we've still got some more footage left over from that. <laughs> so it's Gold Coast Part 2! Here we go! <laughs> Last week on Guy and Gaz's Gold Coast Adventure, we went surfing. He's still in the water! It's time to go! Guy jammed with a band. It's an amazing guy. And Gary met a duck. Hello, Mr. Duck. <laughs> quack, quack. We sure did get amongst it, Guy, but this week we were going to get amongst even more of it. Shut up, Dad. It looks kind of racist. 
You looks like you're doing a white face. I'm not doing white face. This is good. Hey guys, it's Guy and Gary. We're here on the Gold Coast for day two of our amazing adventures. And it's going to be amazing. Let's get amongst it, Guy. You're not going to come up with a new catchphrase for today? No, no, it's appropriate. Because first up, we were getting amongst. Please shoot me now. Stand up paddleboard yoga with local guru Sani. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Wow! Look at Gary, he is not nailing it whatsoever. I'm concentrating on connecting with other people's souls. Gary, you are doing a shocking job. I won't tell you what type of soul you are because it would be rude for a start.